Hi, my name is Mark Quinn. In 2009, I climbed my first mountain, Karen Dubal. Little did I know at that stage that two years later I'd be standing at the summit of Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world. This year, my plan is to climb two of the 8,000ers that haven't been climbed by an Irish person before. Gashavram 1 and Gashavram 2, also known as K4 and K5, located in the Karakoram region in Pakistan. During the course preparing for the Everest climb, I realised that Gashavram 1 and 2, two of the 8,000ers, had yet to be climbed by an Irish person. So I resolved that after Everest, my next climb would be to attempt Gashavram 1 and 2. For the Everest climb, I was affiliated with a fantastic charity called the Shane Gagan Trust, who are based in Limerick City and do amazing work in there. For the Gashavram 1 and 2 climb, we've taken on two very deserving charities, Headstrong and Medicine Sands Frontiers. After I began my descent, I was at the base of the Summit Pyramid when I decided to take a rest. On Summit Day, your body uses about 20,000 calories on average, and the muscle in my legs had well and truly wasted away. As I sat there, looking around and taking into view, a group of French climbers went past me, and as they went down, I realised that I hadn't seen anyone else up in the summit, nor had I seen anyone else pass me on the way back up. I realised at that moment that I was the highest person on land in the world. In my experience on Everest travelling to 8,800 metres, I found that at around 8,500 metres things got quite unpredictable, quite difficult and very hard going. Knowing that, I feel quite confident climbing Gash from 1 and 2, which are both below 8,100 metres. That said, however, these mountains throw up their own set of difficulties. We'd be climbing without oxygen, which was not the case on Everest. We only travelled 7,300 metres without oxygen on Everest, so we'll have a new challenge and a new approach in how we climb the mountain without oxygen. As a mountaineer, I find it's always very important to have the next goal in sight. When I climbed Everest, the next goal is to climb Gashavram 1 and 2. And while I'm climbing Gashavram 1 and 2, the next goal will be to climb another two 8000ers in 2014. In 2015, I hope to be part of an expedition to the Arctic. And in 2016, I hope to do something truly unique, something that's never been attempted by anyone before.